Well, thank you, George. We're all set to go with the start of the second half and a good football game. The Irish three and the Seminoles three. They're the first time uh, st first half stats. Florida State eight first down, Notre Dame seven. Rushing, Notre Dame 133, FSU 100, but they got most of them right at the end of the half. Notre Dame only two for seven, while uh, the Seminoles seven for 20, but two interceptions, only 57 yards, and it's tied here at halftime, three to three. All right, Gary Perk will kick off. Ricky Williams is deep. Williams standing on the five, hauls it in at about the three. Angles off to the left side and is brought down at about the 23 or 24 yard line by Dan Spillmaker and John Autry. So Florida State will take over first and 10 with the ball on their own 24 yard line. There's the Florida State uh, offense. Stock still at quarterback. Whiting at full. Williams at tailback. Split end Williams and the flanker McKinnon. Offensive line. Mowat at tight end. Ryan Render McCormick Bannon and Bulls of Pepe. And Stockstill back to pass in the first play. A good rush. Intercepted by the Irish. Coming down is Mark Zavagnon. And he gets down to about the seven-yard line. Zavagnon intercepting that ball, but there was great pressure put on Stockstill. Great pressure by Tim Marshall, the sophomore of Chicago. Watch him, number 77. Sheds a blocker here, and he goes in, and he really wraps Stockstill. That caused the ball to be thrown short. Marks the Vagnon, two Chicago boys. The Vagnon from Chicago, St. Rita. Marshall from Chicago. Weber, 27-yard reception, interception return. Sweeney, the fullback, Bell, the tailback, Keel, the quarterback here on this first drive in the second get half. Get 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 the Bell. And he slants out of bounds at about the six-yard line. You know, on that interception, it was interesting that Williams just came right through, and he let his man go. They sent, I think, too many receivers out and don't do that much they blocking. Did. Here's the pitch out to Bell. What a workhorse he was in the first half. 72 yards on 16 carries, and he slides out for about a yard gain. Keel at quarterback. Mark Brooks is the fullback now. Hunter flanks out right. Bell goes into an eye. Both ends are tight. Keel dropping straight back the pass. Looking for Hunter. He throws incomplete. Hunter was wide open at the back of the end zone. Well, the intended receiver was Hunter. Buchanan was standing back in the end zone. Wide open. Wide open, but sometimes when you're rolling out, you're a quarterback. You don't have time to look over the field. You're trying to spot the open man, and he just couldn't see Buchanan in the end zone. Eric Riley helping to break that up as Sweeney comes in with a play from the Irish bench. All tied up with three. Irish trying to break it here. Third down goal at the six yard line. Sweeney and Bell in the eye. Bushka on the right. Hunter slotted right. Keel keeps, sweeps around the naked side. Stops and he is going to be brought down at about the six. Hardly a gain. It looked for a moment that he was going to make it. Scott McLean on the tackle along with Tommy Young and great pressure put on that time. Only one man prevented him from getting in for the score. Well, they tried a little trickery there. Faked the handoff to Hunter coming around from the wing back. But good defense by Florida State. And now we're set up for another field goal try by Harry Oliver. All right, Kago will hold. 23 yard attempt. It is up. It is good. So with 13.48. Left to be played in the third quarter. Notre Dame will be kicking off to Florida State with the score. Notre Dame 6, Florida State 3. Williams comes out right. Tony Johnson, the slot back, an eye formation. Mowat, the tight end, and a give to the fullback, Whiting. He goes up the middle for a gain of about three yards before Mark Zavagnin brought him down. Yeah. 
Penalties, uh, Notre Dame, three for 25 yards. Florida State, two for 17 yards. As Mike Larkin checks in as linebacker and Zavagnin goes out. Florida State, second and eight in the 46. A gift to Williams. Across left guard, across the 35, the 30, the 45, the 20, down to about the 13-yard line before Chris Brown tripped him up and prevented a Florida State touchdown. A big hole on that left side and some fancy running by Ricky Williams. Notre Dame linebackers uh, coming up, getting blocked in the line of scrimmage. There you see Gramke overruns it. Good block on Cable, uh, Crable, he overshot it. Ricky Williams running well with power. He finally gets hit by Brown. Williams, 82 yards, eight carries. So first and 10 in the Irish 12. Florida State with the ball, a man in motion, and it is hit one of the running backs and fumbled, and Stockstill gets it back on the 20-yard line. Notre Dame was lucky there, shifting their defense. There's the uh, fumble, and Stockstill covers it well. That went off the hands of Ricky Williams. So a loss on the play of eight yards makes it second and 18 on the 20-yard line. Just into the third quarter, Notre Dame out in front by a score of six to three. And a give to Williams across left guard inside the 20 down to about the 17 before Joe Gramke brought him down. Gramke out of Cincinnati. No, he did not go to Moeller, went to Elder High School. 15 tackles coming into this game and Mark Zavagman helping out. So it'll be a gain of three, third and 15 with the ball in the 17. Another play coming in from the Florida State bench. Tony Johnson splitting out to the right side. Williams and Whiting in the backfield. Stop still. Drops straight back to pass. Throws across the middle. Wide open and into the end zone goes Whiting for a touchdown. Mike Whiting scoring the first touchdown of the afternoon. Mike Whiting on a delay pattern. He's in the slot over on the left of your screen. And he delays, let the linebacker clear it out. And Whiting takes a good pass and slips by Dewerson into the end zone for a TD. So the extra point will be attempted. Randina puts it through. So with 11.01 left to be played in the third quarter, Florida State will be kicking off to Notre Dame with the score, Florida State 10, Notre Dame 6. Second down, 10 to go, ball in the 31. Stock still gives off to Williams this time. Cuts up field on the near far side, and he is going to be brought down at about the 38-yard line by Rod Bone. Greg Allen. Coming on. And we have a flag down. There's Greg Allen, a real speedster, gets to the outside here. Flips and tackles, and watch this... Uh, Good running there. Roddy Bone riding him piggyback. And we'll see what the call is. Against Notre Dame. And it's a big one, a 15-yarder. And Florida State will have the ball on the 24-yard line. And Allen, who just ran that ball, off on the side. Florida State driving. They lead by four, 10 to three, 10 to six rather. Stock still gives off to Whiting, the fullback, and he goes straight up the middle to about the 20 yard line. Mark Zavagnin bringing them down after a gain of four. Ball resting right on the 20. Notre Dame been covering the uh, running plays of the fullback pretty well, but they're in trouble with that halfback with the fullback leading in front of them. 8.20 left to be played here in the third period. Joe Johnson. 
Another Mike Whiting back in. Stock still back to pass. Hits Whiting at the 25, the 20, down to the 10. Inside the 5. Touchdown, but a flag is down. A flag was dropped at about the five-yard line, so let's wait a moment. Very well Watch executed uh, screen pass. Watch 27 Whiting. He lets the end uh, get by him. Griffith, watch the uh, line form out in front of him to see if we can see the clip here. There it is right there on Crable. Got him on the back of the legs, and the touchdown is called back. And that is a break for the Irish as you look at Bobby Bowden. Head coach of the Seminoles. So that will put the ball back to the 24 yard line. Bob Clasby, who missed the Michigan State and Purdue game, is out. Rather in for Tom Bach. So the Seminoles up to the line of scrimmage, second and nine on the 23 yard line. Whiting and Williams in the backfield. And a gift to Williams. He goes up the middle to about the 20 before he is stopped by Zavagnin. It'll be a third down situation and about five yards to go. Boy, a big break on that clip call, George. That really was, but uh, it was a definite clip. And uh, sometimes you wonder uh, how, how can a player knowingly do that, but they're really trying to get in front, and I think Crabo got his legs turned around, and uh, the official was right there and called it. Zavagnin out, Mike Larkin in defensively. Cedric Jones lined up as a tailback. He's got it. He throws right back to Stockstill, has it down at the 10, gets inside the 5 before he's run out of bounds. Tim Marshall made the stop on him. So Jones just coming into the ball game. There's the uh, pitch out to Jones. He's thrown four times this year. They should have known about it. He's completed two. This is his third completion. The quarterback out of the backfield, stock still. That's a legal play in college, but illegal in the pros. So Florida State first and goal on the Notre Dame five-yard line. Jerry Faust wants a timeout. Seven minutes and 18 seconds left to be played in the third period. Florida State with a first and goal in the Notre Dame five, leading here by a score of 10 to six. Seminoles. Up the line of scrimmage, Whiting and Williams in the I formation. And a flip to Williams, and Williams is inside the five, down to about the three. Tom Bach bringing him down. It's good straight ahead blocking here by the uh, Seminoles. Spreading it out to the right. Bach comes in from behind. Grable once again gets blocked. I haven't seen Grable get blocked so well uh, in all the years he's been at Notre Dame. Good blocking by Florida State. Butch Holiday in the ball game. And a give to the fullback Whiting. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It looked for a moment he was going to slide off his tacklers, but... The Irish got him. So there'll be no gain on the play. Whiting, not a big man, uh, 6'1", uh, 210. He's trying to slip to the outside. But Stacy Torrin comes up, puts the clamps on him. Big down here for the Irish on defense. So Holiday goes out and Tony Johnson back in. Florida State picked up a yard on that play. Third and goal on the one. A play indeed. And a give to Whiting. I believe he was stopped. Let's see who's getting up off that pile. That's Griffiths and Zavagnin. Griffiths and Zavagnin in there. Griffiths coming in from the right side. Zavagnin over the top. And decision time for the Seminoles. Whether to go for it on fourth down or to go for the field goal. And it looks like they're going to go for it. This situation, you got to worry about that take and reverse to the far side of the field. Fourth and goal, man in motion. Stock still. He was going to go around. A flag is down. A flag is down. He was going to sweep that right side. The flow was to the left. He was going to come around on that naked reverse. But coming in to break it up. For the Irish was torn. The penalty is against. Florida State, a legal procedure. So Florida State will not have to make any more decisions. 
they will bring Mike Rendina in and go for the field goal. But really, the Irish uh, got a bad break there because if the play stood, it would have been the Irish's ball. Now That's they get correct. a chance at the field goal. Well, the ball will be placed on the 13. Rendina's kick is up, and a flag is down. The officials will talk about it. I believe Notre Dame's uh, left end was offside. Offsides, the field goal is good. With 5.23 left to be played in the third period, Florida State will kick off to Notre Dame with the score, Florida State 13, Notre Dame 6. Mike Rendina from Pompano Beach, Florida, originally from nearby Gary, Indiana, will kick off. Dewerson and Howard and Stone are deep for the Irish. Florida State on top here by a score of 13 to 6. Kick coming downfield. Dewerson has it in the end zone. He'll bring it out. And he will be stopped at about the 17 yard line. And Florida State's Kim Mack on the tackle. So the Irish have the ball resting between the 17 and the 18 yard line. Trying to get some offense generated. They've been held to two field goals here in the first two and a half quarters. Bushka going out left. Buchanan, or rather right, Buchanan left. Keel gives off to his fullback, a fumble. Florida State's got it. Pat Milligan fell on that fumble. John Sweeney had the handoff and fumbled, and Florida State's got it. There's Sweeney coming up through the line here. The ball just pops loose. So he didn't have a good hold on it. And Pat Milligan recovers for FSU, and there's Coach Faust turnovers. Florida State three, Notre Dame one. Florida State having three passes intercepted. And one led to a Notre Dame field goal. Now the Irish pop up the ball. This is... The third time they fumbled, but the first time that Florida State has recovered. Notre Dame fumbled twice. There's a give to Greg Allen, sweeping the left side, and he is going to be run out of bounds by Dewerson on the far side of the field. Again, down to about the 12-yard line. Correction, the 16-yard line. Ball resting between the 16 and the 17. Second down, four yards to go. Ricky Williams is in, Allen is out. Williams and Whiting, straight back and a give to Whiting, and he is going to be stopped for a loss. Kevin Griffith, who had 11 tackles and three fumble recoveries coming into this game with some help from John Autry. Autry playing a, a terrific game at defensive end. He's been stacking up that interference, and then Griffith came in and make, made the cleanup tackle. Notre Dame owns a seven-game home winning streak, and it's on the line here at Notre Dame Stadium. Well, Greg Allen back in the ball game. Ricky Williams is out. Third and six. Stock still lobs one in the corner, and it is incomplete. Intended for Phil Williams. Chris Brown was with him defensively. Chris Brown comes up limping. He's calling for a substitute. Made a good interception earlier in the game. Well, Florida State will attempt their third field goal try. Bumper Shiro. Now in the ball game for Florida State. Chris Brown is out. Rendina's field goal attempt is up. And it is no good. Off to the side. So that fumble does not hurt the Irish as things stand. So the Irish to the line of scrimmage, first and 10, 3-11 to go. Trailing 13-6 and a give to John Mosley. And Mosley up the middle to about 
the 25 before Scott McLean brings him down, and the Irish have another first down. John Mosley, the sophomore, running behind the blocking of Mike Shiner. Watch him get in there. Nice cut to the outside. Mosley played his football right here in Indiana at Culver Military Academy in a nice long gainer for a first down. Mosley is out. Larry Moriarty comes in at fullback. Both ends are tight. Bernie Adele is in the game. Keel back to pass, being rushed. Gets it away, and it's complete to Hunter, but he was out of bounds. So it'll be second and 10 of the 27. Boy, this Irish offense really fired up after that missed field goal. They had their backs to the wall. They certainly did, and uh, this is a fighting Irish team. Good block there on the nose tackle by Bernie Adele. James Gilbert came through and he was rushing the passer. Once again, rolling to the left with a right-handed passer is a tough one to throw. Brooks, Bell, and Hunter in the backfield. They go from the tee and a give to Bell up the middle. He got inside the 25 to about the 24. Alfonso Carriker in on the tackle and also helping out James Gilbert. There's third down efficiency. Notre Dame, 0%. Florida State, 38 Irish came into today's game with a 36% proficiency on third down situations. Third and seven, the ball on the 24-yard line. Two minutes left to be played here in the third period. Brooks at fullback, rather correction Sweeney now, and Mosley slots right. Bell the eye back. Keel drops straight back to pass, looks downfield, throws, he's got Bell at the 15. Inside the 15 to about the 12 before Harvey Clayton, the quarterback, brings him down an Irish first down. There's Greg Bell, the tailback. Watch him delay. Let's the area clear out. Watch this one-handed grab. Grabs it with one hand, tucks it away. And what a day the sophomore Greg Bell is having. Two catches, 25 yards, and a bunch of yards rushing. Mark Brooks, John Mosley, both back in the ball game. The Irish on the Florida State 12-yard line. A gift to Mosley, trying to sweep the right side. Gets inside the 10 to 5, and he is out of bounds at about the one-yard line. John Mosley with another big play on this drive. Certainly was. The Irish, it looks like Mosley is trapped here. Watch him. He's a good runner. There he's in the grass with number 60, Scott McLean. He makes some good cuts. Sweeney down there. So the Irish have the ball, first and goal on the one. Larry Moriarty in at the fullback slot, along with Bell. He's at right half, Hunter at left half. Both ends are tight. And a give up the middle, and in the end zone goes Moriarty, but they're gonna rule that his knee was down at about the half yard line. Just straight ahead blocking. Let's see if we can see where his uh, knee hits. There he, he was not over the goal line, but he squirmed his way after the official said it was down. George Old Fashioned Power Football. That's all Line up, tell him where you're coming and put it in there for six. Mosley, Moriarty, and Bell in the backfield. And again, to Mosley. He fumbled, but I believe he fell on it. So the Irish are no closer. They may even be a little further back. Let's see uh, if we can look at this handoff. Kind of a cross buck type of play. Mosley doesn't get a handle on the ball, but recovers his own fumble, and that's the third time the Irish have recovered their own fumble. Clock ticking away, 15 seconds left to be played in the third period. They lost a half a yard on that play. Third and one. Mosley and Brooks and Bell in the backfield. And Keel keeping. What are they going to rule? Lair Irish Keel. are upset. Florida State's happy. Lair Keel going on a quick count. Trying to fool the Seminoles. Let's see what they rule. The ball back at about the half yard line. And the third period comes to an end here at South Bend. With the score, Florida State 13, Notre Dame 6.
you look at the world-famous Golden Dome on the administration building.